Welcome to Cyber News, guys. I'm Michael. Now, today I'll be answering a lot of overdue questions. Is 5G faster than 4G? Heck, is it worth it at all? I'll cover the real difference between these two. I'll test them out in different locations and let you know if 5G is worth investing in this year. We hear a lot about 5G being the future of the internet. Some have said it'll transform entire industries. Others, it was designed to weaken our immune systems. But conspiracy theories aside, today I'll be performing the ultimate 5G versus 4G comparison. If you're new, welcome to our channel. Let's jump in. To start things off, I'm using a mobile device that does support 5G. This is the latest OnePlus. Surprisingly, 5G isn't as rare as it once was. A lot of newer phone models are implementing this, thanks to tech innovation. Okay, the next thing to do is choose adequate testing locations. Online, I found a map of the city. It specifies where there are 4G and 5G hotspots. The thing about 5G is that you need to be in direct view of a 5G cell tower to get reliable and fast speeds, for now anyway. If not, this can affect the results. So here I am, my first location. Seeing as the guys over at 5G have been touting high speed since the beginning of their creation, I thought I should start with a 5G phone speed test. Oh boy, will the 5G speed test results live up to the hype? Let's give 4G a go. Right, we've covered general speed tests, but what about 5G versus 4G speed in real life situations? Can it hold up doing casual activities like downloading a game or TV show? Here's my 5G phone, here's my timer. Let's head to the Google Play Store and download an epic game, PUBG. Timer starting now. What about that Prime content? I'm thinking Netflix, Breaking Bad. First, I'll start with the OG option, 4G. Now, what's 5G got in store for us today? Back to it. Let's do a 5G speed test in a new location. Now 4G is time for center stage again. Five G is said to mold the future for all IoT devices, not just five G mobile performance. That's why I've got my laptop right here, and I've already connected to my phone's five G hotspot. I'm interested if there will be any difference in the results, mainly because the shared network's speed performance will be dependent on the phone's functions. Strap in and let's find out. Now I'm going to download NBA 2K21. Of course, the arcade edition, which comes in at 6.2 gigabytes. Boom! With those kinds of speeds, you might even forget to check if you've turned on your security tools. Always be prepared, you know. The country I'm currently in only has 5G in the bigger cities. If I go camping or out of town for a while, I'd have tough luck finding a 5G connection. As I said, you've got to be in direct view of a 5G cell tower. 5G towers have a small range and can't penetrate large buildings very well. The proper implementation just isn't there yet, and some people might find their phone switching in and out of 5G and 4G for those very reasons. Also, there are low, mid, and high bands of frequencies. The type of band used will affect the speed. High band being fast, but short range. Low band being long range, but slower. As I said, you've got to be in direct view of a 5G cell tower.
Okay, we've covered a lot of ground today in this 5G vs 4G speed test, but there are still some conclusions to be drawn. Some of you at home might even be in the market for a new phone and thinking, are 5G phones worth it? Well, from my testing, it's clear to see that 5G speeds are pretty accessible and available everywhere in my vicinity. I was looking at an average speed of 130 to 190 megabits per second. Then things took an interesting turn in testing. My highest 5G speed test results were reached in the first test. Then there were significant changes in my last test, with nearly half the megabits per second from the first results. Still, that's good speed, no doubt. It's fair to say the internet 5G speed we are seeing today is quite a step up from 3G. So, is 5G better than 4G? What do you guys think about 5G? Have you tried it out? As we've seen from our 5G vs 4G speed test, the primary difference between them is the speed. I mean, that's, I guess, a, a bit of a given, seeing as cellular networks tend to be overshadowed by their predecessors. And the introduction of more bits per second being able to travel the network explains why 5G is faster in most scenarios. But we aren't without issues here. I'm sure you're no stranger to how long it took for 4G to spread across this planet. Even that map I used to track down 5G areas, where it said I'd have high speeds, wasn't always the case. I saw huge differences within a 3 km range, from 300 to 900 megabits per second. Yikes! Current claims say 4G networks have a latency of around 50 ms, and 5G can drop to as low as 1 ms. Latency, in short, is response time, or ping time, as I like to call it. But in my testing, the ping was almost the same with both technologies, around 20 ms. And lastly, what if you just have a 4G phone? Can you benefit from 5G? Sorry to burst your bubble, but no. 5G further down the line will be beneficial for tech businesses and consumers without a doubt, seeing as we're all limited to the current framework. The days of dial-up internet seem pretty distant right now, don't they? It's also said that compared to 4G, 5G will reduce battery drainage because it can promptly switch to low energy use. Though, I can't say I noticed the difference myself. Then there's the elephant in the room, 5G security concerns. An increase in the so-called IoT devices, great for manufacturers, not so great for consumers. Cybersecurity is not often considered while making these low-end products, leaving prime opportunity for ransomware attackers to gain access. Now, to answer the anticipated question, is 5G worth it? Well, if you're the same as me, you have good 4G coverage, your speeds are pretty solid, why not leave well enough alone? At least for the time being, considering 5G just hasn't really been implemented on a global level yet. And you could face issues in certain areas. Though the major problem here, if you don't have a 5G mobile, you'd have to get one. Having said all that, 5G will inevitably replace 4G, just like the previous generations of connectivity that came before. But it's safe to say it won't happen overnight. Oddly, China, Japan, Korea, and the US are leading global efforts to prepare 6G, a decade early. Ambitious or just competitive? I personally am excited to see what's to come, especially how 5G will shape the tech industry. Have you enjoyed this video? Then why not slam that like and subscribe button to support us and see more awesome experiments, tips, tricks, and cybersecurity insights. We're glad we could have answered your questions today like how fast is 5G and is 5G better than 4G? Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.